Thank you so much, Gretchen, and good evening, everyone. And yes, this uh, this itinerary is is actually it's a new one for 2021 for on the waterways. We actually have two new French itineraries um, in our bucket. We have this one, and we also have the impressions of uh, of, of 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 the Seine. So. Uh, but I'm going to concentrate on the Provence and the Burgundy region right now. And we are going to be sailing on the Saone and the Rhone rivers this evening, okay? And we're gonna start actually, gonna give you a little bit of tweaking of what AMA Waterways is all about and who we are in case you don't know us, all right? Uh, we are family owned and operated and we have been since we were founded in 2002. And we're owned by three families, Rudy Schneider, one of our co-founders, he's also our president, he's our architect, so he designs all of our ships, and he's also known as the godfather of river cruising. Christine Karn, one of our other co-founders and our executive vice president, and Jimmy Murphy was our third co-founder. Um, Jimmy unfortunately passed away in 2014, but we're fortunate to have his son Gary as one of our co-owners and our senior vice president of sales. I talk about these three individuals because they are hands on. They're not, they don't sit in their white ivory tower dictating everybody what to do. You know, they're right there. They board our ships unannounced. They'll be, they'll come down for breakfast and you'll be, you'll, they'll ask if they could sit and have breakfast with you. So again, we welcome you into our AMA family. This slide I think is important because you know, when you're working with First Travel, you know they're a financially sound company. But you know, the vendors, how do you know about them? Well, I'm going to talk about Ama Waterways and how financially sound we are because every single ship that you see on the right, we own them. They paid, as Rudy's quote states on the left, we paid for the last 10 ships that we put in the water, including our new one, the Ama Siena, the Ama Lucia, the Ama Delia were paid for in cash, okay? And another thing that we did last year is the Amabella and the Amaverte that you see here, they were, they were our first twin balcony ships and they were put in the water in 2010 and 2011. Well, we gutted them and they are like brand new ships. And I was on the Amabella in 2012 and I have to tell you, she was beautiful then, but I can't wait to see her now because I'm, I'm waiting to see pictures. So just so that you're aware, when Burst Travel Associates is working with Ama Waterways, they too are working with a very financially sound company. Where do we go? Well, you know, we do the Doro in Portugal. And I'm going to preface a little bit by saying that the Doro is probably running a close first second to the, to the Danube and the Rhine. And we have two ships on the Doro. They're smaller ships. There are 102 passengers. So if you are thinking Doro on your bucket list, I highly recommend you talking to your uh, Birch associate because it's, it, it fills up very quickly, all right? France, when I'm gonna talk about one of our itineraries, but we have five. And my smaller ships are in France. My smaller ships are what I like to say as our original recipe ships. They're the 360 foot long ships versus our 443 foot long ships. And they're 144 passengers and the cabin sizes are 170 square feet, no matter where you are on our ship, okay? But otherwise they have the same amenities as my larger 443 foot long ships, my twin balcony. And I do have a twin balcony in France and that's the Ama Christina and she is on the Rhone, all right? We moved her there last year to the Rhone from, from the Rhine, okay? Well, my France itineraries all start on a Thursday and they end on a Thursday. So we make it very easy for you to do the North of France and the South of France or the North of France and Bordeaux, you know? So whatever you, or do three itineraries because they're very easy to do. Where else do we go in Europe? We do all the other rivers, except for the Po in Italy, and the Elba in Germany. And the reason why we do not do those two rivers is because of the water levels. You know, they, they are so very unpredictable. It's not really fair to you, our guest. We also started Vietnam and Cambodia in 2009. 
and we have a beautiful ship, the Amadara. She's 124 passengers. And in 2019, we added Thailand as a pre or a post for your, for your dreams. Africa, if you've got Africa on your bucket list, please talk to your tra first travel associate. And if you don't, I suggest you do because Africa does change your life. You know, the people are absolutely beautiful people. They're friendly and the animals, of course, just and the scenery. Our program is a bit different. It's a land, cruise, and safari program. So Cape Town, from Cape Town, we fly you to Botswana. Botswana, you will board the beautiful Zambezi Queen, 14 suites, 28 passengers. You will sail the Chobe for four nights. We take you into Chobe National Park. You will see over 500 species of birds. You'll see lots of giraffes, zebras, wildebeest, rhinos, and lots of elephants, okay? But you won't see the big five. Then we take you for two nights to Victoria Falls. And from Victoria Falls, then you've, decided, you've already decided you're either doing East Africa, uh, Tanzania for your safari, South Africa, Kruger National Park, for your safari, Robus Rail, and ending up in Johannesburg. And we've also offer you uh, a Wanda as a, a, an option where you can see the gorillas and the golden monkeys. Yes. And in September of this year, we're starting a brand new destination and that's Egypt on a beautiful brand new ship, the Amadilia. She's 68 passengers. We sail September through June, and then we do not sail August or July or August and we pick her back up in, um, in September. With Egypt, you have the choice of doing an optional pre of Dubai and Jordan, and a post-Israel. Again, the Amadilia, and we start up this September. Very exciting. So why a river cruise with us? You have choices. I know that. But you know, my crew, I would say, is number one. They make my job very, very easy once you've sailed with us. And my tours, you know, we give you choices, not options. If you recall, choices are free. Options will cost you money, right? We give, you know, for an example, we are going to say do, well, let's say we're going to do, the, we're on the Danube and I'm going to, we're in Linz. You may have a culinary tour in Linz to choose from a bike tour in Linz to choose from, a half day Linz. Um, you may have a half day uh, Kresge. You may have a half day Salzburg or a full day Salzburg. Lots of choices, all right? And then after you've made your choice, you'll have to choose, do you wanna be part of my gentle walkers? They may walk just a little slower. My regular walkers or what I like to say, my power walkers, they wanna get through that tour and then they either wanna go do something else or they wanna go shop, okay? We also offer late riser tours, and we also offer independent tours. So if you do not wish to be with our tour guide that day, we'll give you a map, we'll give you some sites that you probably ought to see while you're in this village, town, or city, and also the time to be back at the ship, because if we leave without you, you will be Ubering it to the next port, okay? And bikes, I did mention bicycles. And every single one of our ships, except for the Doro and Vietnam have 26 bicycles on them. You know, the bike paths run right along the rivers in Europe. So it's very easy just to ask to take a bike out and go toodle yourself or become part of a bike tour that we will offer. And our bike tours are not that strenuous, really. Um, you know, we offer three, five, maybe 10, maybe 15 miles um, as far as a bike tour. Or we also offer hiking excursions as well. So, and we are an active one because we have a wellness coordinator on all of our um, ships as well. And we do aerobics, tai chi, yoga on the sun deck on a beautiful day. And not so, we open up the, the lounge area, we move all the furniture, and that's where we do our, our morning uh, aerobics or tai chi or yoga. We, all of our ships have fitness centers. So our fit wellness coordinator will have fitness classes there you can sign up for, or you could just use the fitness center yourself. It's open 24-7. Okay. But I love talking about our food because 
you know, it is locally sourced. It's fresh. Everything is made on board. And except for our ice creams, we do get that from a Belgian dairy. Okay. But, um, and in the past, prior to COVID, we did have um, buffets for breakfast and for lunch. Now, what we've got are kind of action stations where, um, you know, they, for breakfast, for an example, there still might be an egg station where you get eggs made to order, but there's always been a menu on our tables, always. So you come down for breakfast, your waiter will give you, you know, a beautiful fruit dish. He'll give you some breads and jellies and jams, etc. cetera. We'll offer you a juice of your choice, as well as our, our sparkling wine. So you could start your morning off with a mimosa or just a plain glass of sparkling wine. And then you'll have your menu to choose from or maybe one of the action stations that we'll be offering that morning, okay? Lunch is the same way. Um, again, menu on the table. You'll have a variety of salads to choose from. And up in our, sun, up in our lounge area, we will be doing brats as well as burgers. And all of our ships are also going to be having grills on the sun deck. So we'll be doing al fresco, sun, al fresco dining on the sun deck when it's beautiful weather, all right? Uh, dinner has always been menu driven, uh, but we've always had uh, filet, chicken breast, and salmon with, with our Caesar salad and french fries. And I would highly recommend ordering our french fries for any meal. They're delicious, all right? And we also have um, for lunch and for dinner, Unlimited free-flowing beer, wine, and soda. Our wines are regional. They are changed on a nightly basis. You can have your choice between a red or a white or both. I always tell my husband at night, you know, I only have one glass of wine, but they just keep filling it. And do not be afraid to take that glass of wine or beer outside our dining area, into the lounge, into your stateroom, up to the sun deck. We do not stop you at the door, okay? If you have a dietary uh, restriction, we can do any of them except for kosher, okay? Because our kitchen is not kosher. Um, we also have a sip and sale. It's an hour before dinner and our, my bartender will have a specialty drink of the evening, but it is an open bar. And that's a wonderful way people gather just prior to dinner and the cruise manager will make announcements. We'll talk about the next day or the next couple of days that, the, uh, that you're going to be on your journey. Okay? It's lots of fun. And one of the also things that you will experience with us is a Shen dinner. You know, Rudy was inducted into Shen, which is a food association that was kind of founded in Europe back in the 12th century. It was very active in Europe, lay dormant for a number of years, but was brought back to life in the 50s. And it is very active right now, not only in Europe, but in the United States. Um, and he would like you to experience that. And you will one night on your journey. We are also known for our chef's table. Every single one of our ships, except for the Doro, which has El Fresco dining on the sun deck instead, um, has a chef's table. It's alternative dining for you, and there's no upcharge to have dinner there. All you have to do is go up to the front desk and say, I'd like to have dinner there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, whatever suits you. And they will make your reservation for you. Now, my smaller ships, which are in France, they have 22 to 24 guests. My twin balconies have 24 to 28. And my Ama Magna that only does the Danube, which is my largest ship, is 36. Okay? And again, as you could see, the chef will cook your, cooks dinner in front of you and behind glass. And it's five courses, wine paired, okay? A must for one evening. I'm very proud of this slide to show you because every single one of our ships in Europe has been given the Green Award. And when Rudy has designed our ships, he's designed them so fuel efficient and concerned about the carbon footprint that we are leaving our future generations that we spend more money on our bandwidth to keep you connected um, than we do on fuel. But let's journey to the essence of Burgundy and Provence. And this particular itinerary, you will experience lots of wine tasting, uh, lots of biking opportunities if you're into biking, uh, as well as just kind of leisurely sailing, all right? We are going to start our journey, uh, we're going to embark in Aro, right? But you will have the 
option of doing a pre or a post. And since we're going to start in Ireland, your pre is going to be Barcelona, okay? So it's Barcelona, which is artist heaven, right? I had one of my, one of my nieces did uh, a year there uh, in college, and she said it is the most beautiful city. Um, so very artsy as well, very colorful, very clean. So and she said, I would go back in a heartbeat. So we will also take you to the monastery up in Maserat. And this is, I mean, I'm just looking at this is how do they build this? You know, how did, and, and it is a working monastery and you will have the opportunity of visiting this beautiful place and look at the scenery that you will see from the, from the mountainside. And of course you'll have Barcelona. You will have breakfast in our pre as well as our post. Your hotels are included. We will meet you at the airport. We will take you to your hotel, which is where you will meet your cruise manager. Your cruise manager, will, your first evening, will have a welcome um, cocktail party for you and for the other guests that are there. So you get to meet them. And then, of course, you have your city tour. You'll have breakfast every morning. Your luggage is all taken care of for you. And the, your cruise manager will also take you to the ship. So we'll be with you not only for your pre, be on the ship with you for the seven nights. And if you are doing the post, we'll also be with you on the post as well. Okay. What we are also going to be offering for 2022 and 23 is Nice and Monaco as a pre or post for the Essence of Burgundy and Provence. About 10 years, 12 years ago, we did have Nice in our program for the Colors of Provence. And I remember doing that, and I am so excited that we brought it back because Nice is such a beautiful, beautiful city. And I'd love to see Monaco. So let's journey and start. You're going to be on the Amicello, one of my smaller ships, as I mentioned, 144 passengers. And we do not know if we can carry 144 passengers if, we went, if and when we sail this year. We're still waiting for all the protocols, but the ship holds 144 passengers. It's French balcony, which is a large sliding glass door. Um, it's not a step out balcony. Uh, it gives, the, gives your cabin the idea of its expansiveness, right? It's 170 square feet of cabin space, no matter where you are on the ship but it has all the beautiful amenities that all of my ships have, right? Lots of places to plug in for your USB ports. It will have your Apple TV, that is your music, your first run Hollywood movies on demand, your TV, plus your keyboard and a mouse for your internet. And our ships are Wi-Fi. You could be sitting anywhere and be connected to the outside world, right? And the picture that you see in the background is Avignon. It's the Papal Palace, what you see. It's one of the places you'll visit. But we're going to start in Arles. And Arles, of course, has got so much of the Roman influence. It has the, you know, the Romanesque Cathedral. It has, it has the um, Colosseum. You can also do a bike tour through the Roman, Roman ruins that we will give you that choice for. Um, and just kind of, uh, as well as a walking, beautiful walking tour, or again, a bike tour that you can take. So again, the Roman, you know, this was an, actually Julius Caesar made Arles part of the Roman empire back in, when he was reigning as um, dictator, king, whatever. <laughs> and it is a very beautiful, beautiful city. Um, you've got the, uh, you know, amphitheater that seats, from, from what I know and have read, it seats close to, you know, 12,000 people. I mean, that's huge, right? And then, of course, here, uh, across from uh, the Coliseum Amphitheater, you've got City Hall. And, of course, Arles was home of Van Gogh. And a lot of, you know, Starry Starry Night was painted there. Uh, you'll see the beauty of it. He's got, uh, I guess, the Van Gogh family 
uh, has started a foundation that is located in Arles as well. So um, lots of history. And Arles is such a beautiful, beautiful city. You know, we never spend enough time in any of the cities, but you'll have the opportunity of getting the taste. And then we head to Avignon. And yes, you will have the, uh, the, the choice of visiting Papal Palace. Um, again, six Rom Roman Catholic uh, uh, popes housed there. And that's actually where I believe that as history says, um, became the Chateau of, of the Pop, the, the wine was kind of founded in this whole area. And you will have a kind of a choice of doing a wine tasting and culinary tour. You'll also have obviously a city tour, you'll have the Papal Palace, and you can also do a bike tour, the Terrazon bike tour. And this is a little bit longer. I mean, you have, you know, I would say if you are really doing this bike tour for the day, you need to condition yourself before getting on the ship, all right? Because it is, I believe, about a 20, 25 mile bike tour, all right? But it's lovely. And this whole area of the Burgundy, Provence, uh, the Rhone and the Sone area is great for biking. If you are a biker and you want to see the scenery of the countryside, this is the, a beautiful itinerary for you because you can be sailing. And as I said, the wines, I guess, the wines. You're in wine region, you know? <laughs> and we are on the Rhone. We are going to be going to the Sone once we um, pass Avignon. I mean, I'm sorry, Lyon. And we'll do lots of wine tasting, you know, tasting the Connes wine of France, the, white, the beautiful white wines, as well as beautiful Burgundies. And again, you can bike here, or you can take, we'll go into uh, this cathedral in Valence, France. And Vien. Ah, this city, this, this beautiful city, you actually will take you on a choo-choo train ride around Vien. It is amazing. Um, and you can also do a hike up to this ruin up here. This one's a castle, right? So you could do that. You could do the choo-choo train ride. You could also do a bike tour of the city. So as active or as inactive as you would like to be, okay? And again, it still has the Roman influence. This whole region of uh, the Rhone River has the Roman influence. And then we head to Lyon, the gastronomical capital of the world. And you, if you are into biking, can actually bike from Vien into Lyon, if you'd like, all right? Otherwise, we be sail beautifully here and you will have a beautiful city tour. You'll have a culinary tour here um, and I mean, you'll see the beautiful cathedrals and, you know, you'll go through the tomb. I believe, hopefully I'm, my French is terrible. I'm terribly sorry, but they're called tubulars. And they are, you walk through the buildings through these, um, you don't have to be outside. It's almost like, you know, downtown Minneapolis, where you could walk all over downtown Minneapolis and be covered. It's like Lyon, right? And of course, the gastronomical capital of the world. I would highly recommend you having lunch in Lyon or even dinner in Lyon because we do overnight there. And just to experience the restaurants and the culinary of, of Lyon. And then you can take, you can actually either sail on the, as we leave the Rhone and into the Saone uh, River of France, you can do one of two things. You can take a ship and sail along the, from the Rhone to the Sone, or you could actually bike into Villa Fosse. You can do this. It's amazing. Uh, Gary, Gary Murphy, one of our co-owners is really into biking and he did this. He said it's the most magnificent thing he's ever done. It's amazing. And if architecture, 
is part of your, 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 your choice, this church, this monastery, um, look at this, look at the tiles. Now, as you could tell, we are into the sewn area. It's so different. It's, it's not the Roman. It's more of the, um, uh, oh, I'll think of it, the tapestry, <laughs> the Normandies, the, the Normans. Um, that uh, that this whole area of the sewn is known for, right? And the architecture, it's absolutely amazing. And we will visit, and again, choices. You can be biking, you could be taking a, a walking tour, or you could be doing a culinary wine tasting, all right? So again, some choices as we visit various different um, you know, areas of this region. And then we end up, we end in Macon. This is another gastronomical capital. And one of the things you will note when you're on the Rhone River, many of the things are made with um, olive oil. You know, they cook, they cook with olive oil. When you're on the Sone, they cook with butter. So different, whole different um, taste, but it's so good. And of course, you're now on the Sone, so you've got a lot, lot more of the red wines, the burgundies, et cetera. And the Cone is absolutely beautiful. What a beautiful city. And we do give you, again, choices. You can do a, a biking tour. You can do a, our walk, one of our walking tours, a culinary tour, you know, and just be on the ship and what? Watch the city. That's the beauty of river cruising, really, because you can do, we, we don't force you to do anything. You know, we give you the choices. And if you choose one day just to be on the ship as we're sailing on the, the Rhone or onto the Sone River, I mean, what a beautiful experience sitting on the sun deck, watching the scenery go by. You know, if that's what you want to do, we'd love it, right? And of course, this, uh, this, this one was a prison at one time, you know, um, and is now a chateau. <laughs> and of course, the Beaujolais, the Reds, you know, known for their wines. And one of the things that happens every third Thursday in this region is they have the Nouveau uh, Beaujolais. And it's all pressed within and sold, but that happens the th third Thursday of November every single year. But it's also known for its beautiful countryside. Look at this, all these beautiful vineyards and the white cows. Yeah. The Burgundy, I mean, it's, it's absolutely beautiful region. Taurus, and again, you can bike there or you can take the ship and we will have a, a walking tour. And then we head to Bone. This was a hospital built by a very rich man uh, back in, I think the 15th, 16th century for people who were less fortunate in his area. But what happens here every year, and it is a big, big event, all right? is that they have a wine auction. And that also happens in November. Here in this, right here, it, it happens right in this courtyard. Um, it's, this is quite, quite beautiful. And again, look at the roofs. Again, it's more Normandy, right, than, than Roman. And we, we visit the chateau. This was also a prison. And if you look at the windows down here, those are wine cellars now. And we visit this place where it's a, a maze. It's actually really, it really is a maze. You can get lost down here. Um, and you have wine tasting, kind of a wine pairing event, and also be able to tour the grounds. Okay? But it is now, somebody does live there. It is a chateau that somebody lives. But back in the Middle Ages, it was a prison. And we end up in Salon Salon in France. So if you do a post with us, right, 
on this particular journey, or a pre if you're going the other direction, right? We, we're here, and then we take off and we go to three nights in Geneva, Switzerland. Yes. So we visit Dijon, France. Yes, you have the opportunity to buy mustard. Yes. And this is probably one of the most, the oldest cities uh, in France. And you know, it's very, very lovely as far as being able to visit it and spend time there. Then we visit the Chilean castle. And this, you know, we actually will have lunch here. And then we, as we go into, you know, Geneva, we go into Annecy, France. This is actually the Venice of the Alps, as they say. Uh, it is quite lovely. Uh, as you can see, it's very much like Venice with the, the, the cafes and the, and the water. Uh, um, we actually have one of our cruise manager is from here, and she just, of course, loves this area. Why not? You know, look at the beautiful Alps in the background. And then, of course, Geneva. And you spend, you have three nights in Geneva here. Um, and you do have the city tour, but this is where you will uh, obviously fly home from or fly to wherever you are going to go. And if you are, if you are doing a second journey in France, you will disembark in, in Chalon, and then we will take you to, you will be taken to your second journey, whether it be, you know, the north of France or or um, Modo, you know, again. Now, we actually sailed last summer, okay? Um, a tour operator by the name of Ehoy contacted Rudy and Christine and said they had um, German, Swiss, and Austrians that wanted to experience river cruising on the Rhine. So they chartered our Ama Christina from July 5th to November 2nd. And we had to meet every single protocol from the Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg, Switzerland, Austria, Germany, France. And we did. We did not have one case of COVID. And besides the face coverings, the temperature checks, the, you know, the social distancing with our quiet box systems on tours, I think really it was the way Rudy designed their ship was every single stateroom, hallway, lodge, I mean, lobby, lounge, dining area, every place has their own separate air system. So you're breathing clean air. If you want to know what the protocols are uh, and update, please go to amawaterways.com slash protocol. But as I mentioned earlier, we have no idea what they are right now. We're still waiting to get them all. And, but we are definitely ready to sail, let me tell you, as soon as we get the go-ahead. <laughs> We do have some wonderful specials going on right now for you if you are a solo traveler. We've always had our category D and E, which is my swan level, the fixed window level on all of my ships um, as solo uh, travelers for 10% of the double. So it's 110%, right? But now we are offering for our balcony staterooms uh, 25%. So it's 125% of the double rate. And this is valid until the end of this month. So again, if you're a solo, please take advantage of it. Because you listen to me this evening, um, you book any and deposit any new 21, 22, or 23 Amal Waterways journey with your Birch Travel Advisor. By May 18th of this year, I will put an additional $100 per person on your invoice and you have lots of choices to make right for those of you who have been on ocean vessels i know they take you to beautiful countries but my rivers my rivers are going to take you through these beautiful beautiful countries cities towns and villages that you will get up close and personal with right I'm open for questions and I'll give you answers if I have them. Um, Gretchen, I'm gonna let you take it away. Okay, very good. Well, um, I'm just gonna um, 
review a couple of things on how to um, reach out to your uh, Bursch or Pegasus travel advisor. And if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them into the chat box and we'll get them answered. If not, um, you can reach out to your um, travel advisor and they can get answers and, and uh, check availability, um, check um, prices and, and itineraries for you. But um, thank you so much, Mary Margaret. That was fantastic. I tell you, I get lost. Yeah. And the whole idea of travel and these beautiful yeah. places, oh my gosh, and being yeah. on the cruise and having a glass of wine and the food, yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, I'm ready to go. And I know everybody else is. So yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's fantastic. Um, so if, you, if you're ready to go, you want more information, um, the best way to reach out to your uh, Birch Travel Advisor um, is if you have their email is to email them directly. If not, don't worry, you can contact um, the office, give us a call. We are, um, all of our locations are open. We do have some limited hours in, um, in our offices. So it's best to call or send an email if you wanna set up an appointment to um, chat with one of the advisors. Um, if you don't have the phone number, don't worry. You can just go to our website, burstravel.com, and under locations, all of our locations are listed with the phone number. Um, and there's also a contact us form that if you want, you can just complete that and submit, and we'll get it to one of the advisors. If you work with somebody, you can just put their name in there, and we'll get the message to them. So with, um, you know, we're, we're observing the protocols, the social distancing, uh, that sort of thing in all of our offices. So that's why it's best to um, reach out before stopping by because we um, we are, like I said, practicing social distancing and, and wanting to make sure that everybody's safe. So um, if you have any um, questions, like I said, reach out to your um, Burst Travel Advisor. And I'm just looking here. I don't see any in the chat box. Um, so with that, I'm going to turn it back to Mary Margaret and again, thank her so much for this great presentation tonight. And thank you all for attending. Really appreciate it. Well, thank you very much for, uh, for having me. And again, follow your dreams. It's the travel is going to explode and think about where you would like to go. If not this year, next year, and Ama Waterways is actually open for 2023 as far as booking. So please contact your Burst Travel Advisor and get something going because sometimes once you book it, it's a dream. It's coming true. It will happen. You know, again, be safe and thank you very, very much. Have a delightful rest of the week. And happy Mother's Day. Good night.